All right, you guys know the drill by now. It's time for another tier list. And in this video, we're going to be ranking the tanks for patch 10.0.2 in Season 1 of Dragonflight. And honestly, I think this video is going to be surprising for a lot of people. Like always, before we get into the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. So before we get into anything, let's actually establish all the rankings. So S tiers for specs that are just overpowered, or they're just doing incredibly well, or aka the quote unquote meta specs. A tier is for specs which are just doing really good. B tier is for specs that are just doing really good, but may not have everything that A or S tier specs have. C tier is for specs that I would say are just doing okay, or they're pretty niche. And then D is for specs that I would say need buffs or and or reworks. So starting out with the S tier, we have the Prot Warriors. Now, Prot's received quite a few buffs, and man, has it made a huge difference. I know they were back in channel lands, they were just doing really bad. Uh, no one was really playing them, and they've done a complete 180. So they're doing incredibly well at the moment. Not only do they have a ton of mitigation, but they're doing a ton of DPS. They have some seriously strong offensive cooldowns, which makes them do super burst damage for AoE with things like Avatar and Ravager. They have a ton of strong defensive cooldowns with things like Shield Wall, Demo Shout, Rallying Cry, and Last Stand. And on top of it all, they're incredibly mobile with things like Charge or Heroic Leap. And then when you look at the Radiator IO scores for plus 15 keys and above, Prot Warriors make up literally 37.6% of the overall tank population. So as far as pushing higher keys, yeah, Prot's definitely the most popular. Next up, we have the Blood Death Knights. They have always been considered the go-to pick for tanking in Mythic Plus, and once again, they're proven to be a really solid pick. Honestly, the only reason why Prot Warriors are more popular is because I think they're doing a little bit more DPS than Blood, and also I think just the whole flavor of the month thing is kind of, you know, everyone's jumping on the, the warrior bandwagon. Blood Death Knights have some of the best self-healing in the game. They're known for their ability to basically off-heal a bad healer or survive when everyone else is dead and, you know, manage to solo a boss for that last 3% of health. They have some really great utility with things like Death Grip or Abomination Limb, strong self-healing like I mentioned, they've got great defensives with, you know, things like Anti-Magic Zone. And then once we look at the Raider IO scores for plus 15 keys and above, currently Blood DKs make up about 17.7% .7 of the population of tanks. Now we move on to the A tier, and first off we have the Vengeance Demon Hunter. Now they have gotten a pretty big buff uh, since last expansion. I know they've always been known as like that really squishy or just their health would fluctuate back and forth a lot when uh, you know healers are healing them. So they've gotten a lot of improvements on that front. So they're definitely a more tankier uh, spec now. So the nice things about Vengeance is that they are doing a ton of DPS, especially if you spec into the Spirit Bomb build. They have really great self healing, not as good as DKs, but it's still pretty good. They have a ton of mobility and of course they bring Chaos Brand, which is going to make any DPS caster in your group super happy. And then when you look at the plus 15 keys and higher for Raider IO, Vengeance Demon Hunters make up about 16.4% of the population. So they're they're pretty close to, you know, how many blood DKs are out there pushing higher keys. So Brewmaster Monks have always had a really awesome ability, you know, called Stagger. That mechanic just, you know, converts a part of the damage they take into a dot rather than taking the full amount. So just that ability by itself makes Brewmaster Monks really awesome to play. And it makes them super solid, but it also makes them really forgiving to play. Brewmaster Monks also have a ton of mobility. They've got some pretty nice utility, especially with things like Leg Sweep. And they've also just, I think, reworked the Brews with them. So now they have a little bit more defensive cooldowns, which is nice to have. But it seems like they're not quite as popular as the specs above, because with Brewmaster Monks, when you look at plus 15 keys and above, they only make up about 5% of the population which actually makes them the lowest played or lowest represented tank for these higher keys. However, I still think they're really solid. Now, Protection Paladins have, I would say personally, probably the most funnest and smoothest rotation out of any tank. I mean, who doesn't love throwing Avenger shields at people? While Proc can't do as much damage as some of the other tanks, they definitely make up for it with the amount of utility they have. They can, of course, off heal. They've got some great CC abilities with things like Hammer or Blinding Light. And then if you look at uh, plus 15 keys and above, Prop Paladins actually make up about 12.6% of the overall population. And yeah, I can definitely see that. I think that's a combination of just Prop Paladins being really fun to play, but I also think Prop Paladins probably have the most magic resistance out of any of the tanks. 
and there's just a ton of magic damage out there in the, uh, the different dungeons right now. Finally, we have the Guardian Druid. Now, Guardian Druids have a ton of passive damage reductions, and they're just basically huge damage sponges. They also have some really strong mitigation abilities with things like Iron Fur, and they also have, you know, they're, they're a Druid, so they have a ton of utility. So they're going to have things like Stampeding Roar, Convoke the Spirits, and then when you look at the Raider IO for plus 15 keys and above, Guardian Druids make up about 10.8% of the population. So you guys might have noticed that all the tanks are actually raked pretty closely together. You either have S or A tier. And that's because I think any tank in the game is just super good. Like, you, there's literally no wrong answer for tanks right now. And that's pretty awesome. So yeah, that's where we're going to wrap this video up, guys. I just want to apologize if I may sound a little weird. I literally bit my tongue in my sleep last night. And this morning, my tongue's kind of, like, swollen. So it's a little hard to, <laughs> to talk today. But, uh... Yeah, I still wanted to put this video out there for you guys. Tell me in the comments section which tank you're, you guys are playing or, you know, just uh, which ones you're enjoying. I, you know, I love to hear from you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I will see you guys in the next one.